More than 600 people were murdered in Chicago last year, and police officials say the homicide rate could end up being 30% higher this year because of increased incidents of violence, such as the kind that claimed the life of 17-year-old Ben Wilson. Police have identified the suspects in his murder as members of a street gang. Those gangs are responsible for 61 murders so far this year. Among the many questions being asked today in light of Wilson's death is where does such violence start and how can it be stopped? Gangs come from the community in which they are committing their violence. They live in that community. And until the community gets involved with their children, and sets up alternatives to the gang structure, the gang problem in their area is not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. If I have to be one voice crying in the wilderness, I'm going to be crying. I'm going to keep saying that it's wrong to hurt people and that it starts with little children being taught to hurt people. The death of Ben Wilson has brought widespread reaction and condemnation for the violent way in which he died. I think Ben Wilson's death is going to show uh, Chicago, if not the nation, that there is a serious problem. And if the good that can come from this will result in some serious actions against the proliferation of handguns. Chicago police often use stop and search tactics like this one in hopes of catching suspected gang members who might be carrying a weapon. But police admit there is little they can do to stop the violence. You gotta be sending people guns and knives out of the schools uh, and out of the hands of youngsters. The federal government should act very quickly, I think, on gun control. Residents with whom we spoke agree it will take a community effort. I don't think it's anything that one particular source can cut down on. It has to be like a combined effort. Ben Wilson knew how to stop the violence. He decided years ago not to get involved in gang activity. He instead became a winner. Oh, I have a go and. You know, I want to be successful, and so I do what it takes to be successful. And that is, you know, when I go home, you know, I study and do my work and go to class. Kind of corny stuff. Well, it works. <laughs> Are you an athlete? Yes, I am. Um